Hello world I'm Imagination. Today I'm going to talk about nuclear power. Nuclear power is the use of nuclear reactions that release nuclear energy to generate heat, which most frequently is then used in steam turbines to produce electricity in a nuclear power plant. Nuclear power can be obtained from nuclear fission, nuclear decay, and nuclear fusion reactions. Presently, the vast majority of electricity from nuclear power is produced by nuclear fission of uranium and plutonium. Nuclear decay processes are used in niche applications such as radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Civilian nuclear power supplied 2,563 terawatt hours of electricity in 2018, equivalent to about 10% of global electricity generation, and was the second largest low carbon power source after hydroelectricity. As of December 2019, there are 443 civilian fission reactors in the world, with a combined electrical capacity of 395 gigawatts. There are also 56 nuclear power reactors under construction and 109 reactors planned, with a combined capacity of 60 gigawatts and 120 gigawatts, respectively. The United States has the largest fleet of nuclear reactors, generating over 800 TWH zero emissions electricity per year with an average capacity factor of 92%. Most reactors under construction are Generation 3 reactors in Asia. Nuclear power has one of the lowest levels of fatalities per unit of energy generated compared to other energy sources. Coal, petroleum, natural gas, and hydroelectricity each have caused more fatalities per unit of energy due to air pollution and accidents. Since its commercialization in the 1970s, nuclear power has prevented about 1.84 million air pollution related deaths and the emission of about 64 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent that would have otherwise resulted from the burning of fossil fuels there is a debate about nuclear power proponents such as the world nuclear association and environmentalists for nuclear energy contend that nuclear power is a safe sustainable energy source that reduces carbon emissions zero emission nuclear power is an important part of the climate change mitigation effort under IE a sustainable development scenario by 2030 nuclear power and KISS would have generated 3,900 TWH globally while a wind and solar 8,100 TWH with the ambition to achieve net zero co. 2 emissions by 2070. In order to achieve this goal on average, 15 way of nuclear power should have been added annually on average. As of 2019 over 60 gigawatts in new nuclear power plants was in construction, mostly in China, Russia, Korea, India, and UAE many countries in the world are considering small modular reactors with one in Russia connected to the grid in 2020. Countries with the nuclear power plants in the planning phase include Argentina, Brazil, Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, Egypt, Finland, Hungary, India, Kazakhstan, Poland, Saudi Arabia, and Uzbekistan. The future of nuclear power varies greatly between countries, depending on government policies. Some countries, most notably, Germany have adopted policies of nuclear power phase-out. At the same time, some Asian countries, such as China and India, have committed to the rapid expansion of nuclear power. In other countries, such as the United Kingdom and the United States, nuclear power is planned to be part of the energy mix together with renewable energy. Just as many conventional thermal power stations generate electricity by harnessing the thermal energy released from burning fossil fuels, Nuclear power plants convert the energy released from the nucleus of an atom via nuclear fission that takes place in a nuclear reactor. When a neutron hits the nucleus of a uranium-235 or plutonium atom, it can split the nucleus into two smaller nuclei. The reaction is called nuclear fission. The fission reaction releases energy and neutrons. The released neutrons can hit other uranium or plutonium nuclei, causing new fission reactions, which release more energy and more neutrons. This is called a chain reaction. The reaction rate is controlled by control rods that absorb excess neutrons. The controllability of nuclear reactors depends on the fact that a small fraction of neutrons resulting from fission is delayed. The time delay between the fission and the release of the neutrons slows down changes in reaction rates and gives time for moving the control rods to adjust the reaction rate. A fission nuclear power plant is generally composed of a nuclear reactor, in which the nuclear reactions generating heat takes place, a cooling system, which removes the heat from inside the reactor. A steam turbine, which transforms the heat in mechanical energy, an electric generator, which transforms the mechanical energy into electrical energy. Nuclear is a zero-emission clean energy source. It generates power through fission, which is the process of splitting uranium atoms to produce energy. The heat released by fission is used to create steam that spins a turbine to generate electricity without the harmful byproducts emitted by fossil fuels. According to the Nuclear Energy Institute, NAE, 
the United States avoided more than 476 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions in 2019. That's the equivalent of removing 100 million cars from the road and more than all other clean energy sources combined. It also keeps the air clean by removing thousands of tons of harmful air pollutants each year that contribute to acid rain, smog, lung cancer, and cardiovascular disease. Nuclear fuel is extremely dense. It's about 1 million times greater than that of other traditional energy sources and because of this, the amount of used nuclear fuel is not as big as you might think. All of the used nuclear fuel produced by the U.S. nuclear energy industry over the last 60 years could fit on a football field at a depth of fewer than 10 yards. That waste can also be reprocessed and recycled, although the United States does not currently do this. However, some advanced reactors designs being developed could operate on used fuel. The NICE Future Initiative is a global effort under the Clean Energy Ministerial that makes sure nuclear will be considered in developing the advanced clean energy systems of the future. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.